Hello lovely people, welcome back to another book chat. Um, okay, so I want to talk a little bit about rereading today. Um, when I was a teenager I read voraciously, I read everything I could get my hands on as you know, pre-teen as well. Um, when I left New Zealand when I was about 18 and I worked first in Tonga and then I was working in, in, on boats and things like that for quite a few years. Um, and what happened was I didn't have a lot of access to, to books. So the books that I could get hold of tended to be books that pe other people had, like guests had brought and left behind and, and that type of thing. So it was both a good thing and a bad thing. It was a good thing in that I ended up, because I couldn't not read, <laughs> I ended up reading lots of books I might not have picked up otherwise. Um, so it did definitely broaden what I read. I read all those sort of holiday reads people tend to bring crime and thrillers and even some romances which um, yeah it was a really good way to be forced to sort of widen or broaden my horizon my reading horizons <laughs> um, it certainly didn't change what my you know sort of key loves were though which is more genre fiction um, and the other thing that, that meant is because I was traveling because I was living on boats I never got to really amass a library um, which obviously I'm making up for now. <laughs> um, so over the years, there's lots of books that I read when I was younger that I just haven't had a chance to reread. I haven't had a chance to go back to. Um, and I find myself saying all the time, oh, I read that when I was a teenager. Oh, I read that you know, all these years ago. And I just haven't touched them since then. I haven't even seen them since then. Um, so one of those books I actually picked up again quite recently and that was Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency um, because I had so many books on my Kindle TBR that I couldn't choose any of them so I decided to go back and reread <laughs> um, and it was a really interesting experience rereading this because I do remember the first time I read it and I remember I must have been I don't know 14 or something like that maybe even younger and I remember being really confused by it because I really enjoyed um, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series and then I just expected more of the same and the Dirt Gently Solicited Detective Agency is really very different um, it plays with all these concepts of physics which I would have had no clue of at that stage um, and it, it is in a way I'm not sure if I'd say a more adult read, but it, it's it's definitely very different to Hitchhiker. It's not as much of a romp as The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, so yes, I enjoyed rereading it, and I think I actually enjoyed it a lot more this time round than I did um, than I did the, pre the first time that I read them. And I will probably keep going and read the others because I think they're somewhere in the depths of my Kindle as well, one of my little. <laughs> grabbing things as I go along. Um, interestingly, I was talking to uh, my dad's girlfriend and she had recently reread um, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and she said she you know, she loved it when she was younger and this time around she was just like, oh. um, which is always also a danger of rereading because I have done that before as well. Or you notice things um, as when you read that you might not have picked up before when you were younger. Um, for instance, recently in the Facebook group we did a, a H.P. Lovecraft month and although I was aware of certain racist overtones when I was younger, it wasn't as clear to me as it was as an adult and it didn't, and it affected me much more reading some of his phrasing as an adult. It was, it was, it was very uncomfortable and in fact I didn't really continue past reading the one story that we'd chosen for the month. Um, so it's always very interesting, it's always very interesting going back to older books as well because things do change. Like I was really aware, although I enjoyed the story, that there aren't any, in, in the Gently Solicited Detective Agency, there aren't really any women in it. Um, it's very odd. And, and, you know, you do notice these things now. Um, but yeah, overall I enjoyed rereading it. So, um, my question to you uh, today is, do you reread? Um, do you go back and reread some of the books that you enjoyed when you were younger? How do you find it as an experience when you're rereading as an adult? Um, what books have sort of stood the test of time? And what other ones have you just read and gone, oh, I kind of wish I hadn't reread that. <laughs> um, and my big one on that one was The Chronicles of Narnia because I reread them a lot. As, as a wee small thing and then somewhere around my early teens I kind of went 
this is really preachy. <laughs> and that was it. I couldn't, I haven't reread them since because it just ruined it for me entirely. Um, it was so, when I started seeing how moralistic they were, it just, yeah, I was done. I was like, oh, I can't read this anymore. <laughs> Uh, but yes, um, so yeah, let me know uh, what your rereading habits are if you do reread and what particular books you've found have, have really, you've still really enjoyed and what bits of ones you haven't. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye.